In this video, we'll teach you how to make this stacked repeated text animation in Filmora. Hey everyone, welcome to Filmora MVP channel. Here we teach you editing tricks, filmmaking, and camera techniques. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and also hit the notification bell to get the latest updates. Before we start editing, click the download link in the description box. Click on the free download option. Now, a Filmora installer is downloaded automatically. Just double click on it, agree with the terms, and here you go! Filmora started to download and install. Once it's installed, it'll start and run automatically. First, let's edit the titles. Double click on the default title on the timeline and change the font to any bold font. Increase text size to 120 and enter your words. Change text spacing to 8 and take a snapshot of it. Next, double click to bring out the advanced panel turn off text fill and turn on outline option, and change the outline color to white color and change thickness to 1. Save the changes and take a snapshot. Delete the default title from the timeline. Drag the outline snapshot to the timeline. Open the crop tool, select custom under ratio folder and change 1080 to 540. Meanwhile, shift the crop section upward. Double click on the snapshot. Change Y axis to 275 and then take a snapshot again. Next, click on the crop tool and shift the crop section downward and press OK. Double click on a snapshot. Change Y axis to negative 275 and then take a snapshot. Then delete this snapshot from the timeline and project media. Now import the background image. Drag it to the timeline. Double click on it for changing the scale and make it cover the whole screen. Keep the background clip 3 seconds long. Delete the rest of the part. Lock the track by clicking this lock icon. Go to the track manager and add 6 tracks on the timeline. Drop first snapshot on track 6 and keep it 3 seconds long. Lock it. Now drop the upward outline snapshot at 15th frame. Double click on it and go to the animation. Change Y axis to negative 4.0 and opacity to 0%. Move 5 frames forward, increase the opacity to 100% and define the Y axis position and keep it edge to edge. Now add a keyframe at a minute and 5 second position, go to 5 frames forward, and now change the zoom level preview screen to 25%. Double click on your clip and stretch it in preview, same as I'm doing. Delete the part after 1 minute and 15 seconds. Now hide track 6 and track 1 clip by clicking this eye icon and take a snapshot. Drop the latest snapshot just right after the clip on track 5. Move 3 frames forward. Unhide the track 6 clip, double click, and add a keyframe. Go to 5 frames forward, and again, adjust the clip in the preview screen by shrinking it. Again, move 5 frames forward, adjust the Y axis value until the outline clip covered by the main clip, meanwhile, reduce the opacity to 0%. Delete the clip after 2 minutes and 10 seconds, and lock the track 5. Now drop the downward snapshot clip on track 4 and repeat the same process. Until now, we have finished the first outline animation. Next step is to create one more layer upon the outline. Drop the topside snapshot clip on track 3 at the 17th frame. Double click on it and change the opacity to 0%. Move to 5 frames forward, increase the opacity to 100% and change the Y axis position to place this outline clip above the first outline clip and keep it on the edge. Add a keyframe at 1 minute 5 seconds, go to 5 frames forward, double click on your clip and stretch it in preview, same as I'm doing. Split the clip at 1 minute 16 seconds position, and delete the rest of the part. Now hide track 4, track 5, and track 6 clip and take a snapshot. Drop this snapshot on the track 3 right after the clip. Place the playhead at 1 minute 18 seconds position. Unhide all the tracks, double click on the track 3 clip, add a keyframe, place the playhead at 1 minute 23 seconds position, and shrink the clip using preview screen. Take playhead 5 frames forward, and change the Y axis and place outline snapshot on the edge of the main text. Again, take the playhead 5 frames forward, and place the outline snapshot behind the main text and change opacity to 0%. Split the clip at 2 minutes 10 seconds and delete the rest of the part, and lock the track. Now drop the downward snapshot on track 2 and follow the same process. Unhide the background clip. Unlock the main clip. Split it at the 15th frame, add a keyframe at the beginning, change the x-axis position until the word out of the screen, reset the x-axis value at the 6th frame. Now split the clip at 2 minutes 10 seconds, 
add a keyframe at 2 minutes 19 seconds, then go to the end and drag the text out of the screen. Go to the effect, select Glitch, apply Glitch Dispersion, and Glitch Stripe 2 on the split clip, and do the same with the end part. Click on Render Preview to see the final preview. That's it! Thank you for watching! If you like this video, then give this video a thumbs up. Plus, subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell icon, but don't leave without sharing this video and leave your comment below. Bye!